welcome to the video training series. My name is Dan Dorfmiller. I'm the author of Print Reading for Construction. Welcome back to Unit 3, Reading Measuring Tools and Using Scales. Hi, I'm Dan, the author. In this unit, you will learn to read both customary and metric measurements. Customary meaning English. Convert between customary and metric units. Identify the drawing scale of a print. Read dimensions on a print, which is very useful in construction when it comes to building the building. And learn how to use an architect and an engineer's scale. There are many types of measuring tools used in the construction industry. They include bench rules, steel rules, and tape measures. The most common being the tape measure. A metric rule is used for designs using the metric system. This is very uncommon in the United States and only briefly covered in this video. An architect's and engineer's scale are also used to measure drawings. A fractional rule is divided into feet, with every foot equaling 12 inches. Each foot is divided into inches, and inches are divided into fractions of an inch. In Unit 2, covering construction math, I describe how to add and subtract feet, inches, and fractions of an inch. The system is called the customary system and is mostly used in the United States because most materials are manufactured using the customary system. If you want to know more about the customary system and how it came to be in the United States, go to the internet and search for foot unit and click the Wikipedia page. The basic linear unit in the metric system is the meter. The metric linear units is broken down into millimeters, abbreviated MM, centimeters, abbreviated CM, meters, abbreviated M, and kilometers, abbreviated KM. Millimeters is one one thousandths of a meter, meaning, that, meaning there are 1,000 millimeters in one meter. Centimeters is one one hundredth of a meter, meaning that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. A meter, of course, is a meter. And kilometer equals 1,000 meters. What is important to know is how to convert between metric system and the English system, or vice versa. The magic number is 25.4 millimeters to every inch. If you can remember this number, you can convert any metric linear measurement back and forth. For general information in the book, we list some other conversions that are useful to know. For example, let's convert 137 inches to millimeters. First write down the formula, 1 inch equals 25.4 millimeters. Next, multiply 137 inches times 25.4 millimeters, which equals 3,479.8 millimeters. Now, let's convert millimeters to inches. Using the same concept, 25.4 millimeters equals 1 inch, divide 225 millimeters by 25.4 and you get 8.86 inches. Reduced to its lowest terms, you will have 8 and 7 eighths inch. You can do this with any metric or English measurement. When learning to use and read an architect's or engineer's scale, the term scale refers to the relative size at which a drawing is being made on the drawing. Today, building drawings are made using computer programs like CAD or BIM and are reduced from full size to fit on a sheet of paper to show more or less detail depending on the information needed to be displayed. An architect's scale is commonly used to make drawings for buildings such as floor plans, elevations, and details. An engineer's scale is used on civil drawings such as plot plans or grading plans, landscape plans, and any other drawings depicting information outside the building structure. An architect's scale is available in both three-sided triangular form and flat two-sided form. A typical triangular architect scale, there are 10 scales with one edge showing a foot in inches and fractions of an inch. Understanding scales can be confusing. 
just remember you can't show the building in full scale on the drawing. So when a drawing is made using an architect scale, the drawing scale is defined so that some fraction of an inch or a whole number in inches equals one foot. For example, when saying that the drawing has a scale of one eighth inch equals one foot, what this refers to is that each foot in actual size has been reduced to one eighth of an inch. This is shown in the example on the left with the blue lines. On a drawing made using a scale of one quarter inch equals a foot, each quarter inch equals one foot. This is shown in the example on the right with the red lines. Once you understand this concept, using an architect scale becomes much easier. The most common scales are shown 3 30 seconds to 3 inch equals a foot. There are two scales on each edge of the scale, one either equal to one half or double the other side, as shown 3 30 seconds and 3 16 one eighth and one quarter scale, three eighths and three quarter inch scale, one half and one inch scale, and one and a half and three inch scale. Now remember, each scale represents a full foot. The smaller the scale, the less information that can be shown in the one foot increment. Now back to understanding the tick marks on a scale. I refer to these as the smallest tick mark shown on a referenced scale. For instance, 3 30 seconds of an inch shows six tick marks. This means that it is showing every two inches in scale. This makes sense because it is a very small scale and not much information can be shown. Whereas the 3 16 scale has 12 tick marks indicating the smallest tick mark as one inch, seeing it is twice as big as the 3 30 seconds scale. Also note the height of the zero marks in reference to the other marks on the scale. The 3 30 second scale is shorter than the 330 than the 3 16 scale. We'll be coming back to this later in the video. Here on the 3 quarter inch scale, each tick mark refers to a half inch. To determine the reference of each of the tick marks, think in terms that the space from the zero mark toward the end of the scale is represent, representing a scale version of one foot. So if you're not sure, of what the tick marks are indicating determine where the sixth inch mark is. It's always in the middle. And by the way, always read from the zero mark outward. Then determine where the three inch and the nine inch is simply by dividing the six inch mark by half. The inch marks are shown between three, six, and nine. The smallest tick marks showing on the three quarter inch scale is one half inch, and the three inch scale smallest tick mark is one inch. And again, note the taller zero and the shorter zero marks on each side of the scale. Now let's talk more about the tall and short zero marks. Almost all architect scales have two scales on a single edge, one either one half or double the other side. To communicate this, the smaller scale will always have a shorter height zero mark than the larger scale. This is done to reference which tick marks can be used in reading full feet across the reference scale. For instance, if you are reading the full feet on a three-quarter inch scale, you would only use the taller tick marks one, two, three, four, and so on across the scale. When reading from the other side, 3 8 inch scale, you would use all the tick marks because it's one half the 3 quarter inch scale from the other side. As noted, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Notice that the number for the shorter tick marks are numerated in the feet for the 3 8 inch scale, and the taller tick marks are numerated for the feet for the three quarter inch scale. If you are reading the tick marks that say 10 feet for the three eighths inch scale on the taller tick marks, it's not 10 feet, it's nine feet. You would have to interpolate from the smaller tick marks 
that say 8, then interpolate the 9 for the 3 8 inch scale. Reading from the 3 quarter inch scale side, the same tech mark would now be 10 feet. To measure a distance of the red line with the architect scale, use the method shown. First, line up the scale so that one end of the line aligns with a full foot mark for the correct scale and the other end of the line extends past the zero mark into the portion of a foot area. Then, read the measurements in feet and add the measurements in inches and fractions of an inch beyond the zero mark to the number of feet. In this example shown, the measurement in feet is 6 and the measurement in inches is 7. The total length of the line is 6 foot 7 inches. One more example. Using the quarter inch scale to measure the red line, line up the scale on a full foot mark with the extra extending into the portion of the foot area. The full feet measures 6 and the portion of a foot measures 3 inches. The total length of the red line is 6 foot 3 inches. The scale will be identified usually near the title of the plan, section, or detail. The dimensions on the plan are used to define edges, locations, thicknesses of materials, and center lines of the building. An engineer's scale relates to so many feet per inch and is referred to as a whole number. For example, a 20 scale is noted as 1 inch equals 20 feet. Also noted on the drawing using 1 inch equals 20 foot scale. Every inch represents 20 feet. On a typical three-sided engineer scale, there are six scales starting with 1 inch equals 10 foot all the way up to 1 inch equals 60 foot. Note that the 10 scale could also represent 1 inch equals 100 foot, 1,000 foot, and even 10,000 feet. To read an engineer's scale, first identify the scale. The number at the end of the scale indicates the number of feet per inch. This example shows the measurement of a line using an, in, an engineer's scale of 1 inch equals 10 foot, referred to as the 10 scale. Note that each major division is divided into 10 parts. When reading this scale, 1 inch equals 10 foot, 2 inches equals 20 foot, and 3 inches equals 30 foot, and so on. Using the 1 inch equals 10 foot scale, Measure the distance of the red line. Start by placing one end of the red line at the zero mark. Measure from the zero mark to the number three tick, which equals 30 feet. The line extends three tick marks past the three. Each tick mark equals one foot, making the total measurement 33 feet. Remember, a simple way to identify the number of feet is at a zero to the numbers and that equals 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, 40 foot, and so on. This applies to all the engineer's scales. In this example, using a 1 inch equals 20 foot scale, measure the red line. The measurement from the 0 mark to the 10 mark is 100 feet. The line extends 3 tick marks past the 10 mark. Each tick mark equals 1 foot given us a total measurement of 103 feet. Here is a typical architectural site plan. The scale is defined as 1 inch equals 30 foot, down by the title. The dimensions on this plan are used to define the relationships of sidewalks, parking lot drives, and easements of the property. Okay, it's time to test your knowledge. Pause the video here and review the material in Unit 3 then answer the questions on page 47 and 48. When complete, continue the video to see the answers. There are a total of six activities to complete. Stop the video at the beginning of each activity. Complete the activity, then continue to see the answers. Repause the video and check your answers.
pause the video here and do the activity 3-1 on page 49. Repause the video and check your answers. Pause the video here and do activity 3-2 on page 50. Repause the video and check your answers. Pause the video here and do activity 3-3 on page 51 and 52. Repause the video and check your answers. Pause the video here and do activity 3-4 on page 53. In this activity, you must find all the missing dimensions by adding or subtracting using the given dimensions. Have fun! Repause the video and check your answers. A common challenge for many students is the answer to G. If you got the correct answer, congratulations. If you missed it, here is one way to get the answer. First, ask yourself, what do I know? We know it's 12 foot 8 inches from the center of the door to the top edge of the wall. Next, what string of dimensions can I add up with only one missing dimension? That would be the 8 inch wall, 8 foot 10 inch room space, and one half the door width, 1 foot 6 inches, which all adds up to 11 foot 0 inches. Subtract the 11 foot 0 inches from 12 foot 8 inches, and you get 1 foot 8 inches from the door jamb to the inside of the wall. Pause the video here and do activity 3-5 on pages 54 to 57. In this activity, you will first measure the heavy black lines using the scale mentioned below the heavy black line for both an architect scale on page 54 and engineer scale on page 55. When complete, continue the video for the next set of instructions. On page 56, using an architect scale and page 57, using an engineer scale, you will make a mark on the line shown using the scale noted to the left for the measurement noted under the line. For instance, on the first line at the top of page 56, note 12 foot 8 inches. Here you will draw a line using a quarter inch scale. Starting from the arrow side of the line, the answer would look like this. Now you try it. Repause the video and check your answers. Move the video along as needed to see all four pages. Thank you, and this completes Unit 3.